Well, then, there are a lot of times where you really want to preserve your family history, and we're talking about that now. Rich Polt is here to talk about that kind of preservation. Tell us what organization you're from again. Acknowledge Media. So a lot of things that you are talking about are things that people can do quite easily, but they don't realize how easy it would be. Um, tell us about what you can do to make sure that you hold on to a lot of these memories that you'd want to. Sure. So legacy preservation is often overlooked. When we think about legacy, we think about financial. We think about an estate plan or a will. How do we uh, save our physical possessions? But when we lose somebody that we love, when we think about a parent or a grandparent who might be gone, what we think about is the stories. Um, what if I could ask them a question right now, but I can't? Right. And we think about that. So here's an opportunity for people to capture their family stories. Where is it that we come from as a family? What are the experiences in my life that were most important in you know, the decisions that I made? And what are my hopes for the future? And these are things that are so easy to access from our living relatives. Right. right. So tell me, there are things I'm sure that you find people come to you and say, if I, I only wish I would have done this. Mm -hmm. What are those main things typically that people just wish they had, had taken you know, control of and made sure that they preserved for their family? So one of those is access to the past. Typically, a grandparent will have knowledge about where we come from, uh, whether there was a coming to America story, or just prior generations. And once we lose our grandparents, our great grandparents, a lot of those stories are lost. And so really it's just sitting down, whether it's with an iPhone or doing something a little bit more structured, mm -hmm. a video, a book, and asking those questions, having them lay all that information out. Beyond the details, beyond the where's, the what's, and the when's, it's the why's. Give me some ideas. Like, what are some of the things that we should be asking our grandparents that, that we have still living now? Absolutely. So, in addition to the where did we come from and, you know, what was it like growing up, a lot of the things that help them access tangible moments. If you were my grandmother, what was it? Tell me about the day my, my mother or my father was born. Right. Tell me about the day that you were proposed to. Uh, what was that like? Right. So here's some other feel? things here. What, what, what was your greatest accomplishment? Mm -hmm. You know, something like that. Or w what do you want to be known for? That's a great one. Sure. You know, we often think about what it might our gravestone say, right? How do we want to be remembered? Right. It can be a dour thought, but, you know, our own mortality. But what is our legacy to the future? How do we want to be remembered by our grandchildren, right? right? And what are our hopes for the future, for right. them as they grow older? That's so important. God, I'm so glad you came. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, Rich Thank you, Paul. All right.